Hello and welcome to our video. Today, we will be summarizing Happiness by Richard Layer. By the end of this short book summary, you will not only understand the big ideas and key takeaways from the book, but you will also be able to discuss and implement them as well. So be sure to watch until the end. But first, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to receive more money-making tips and to learn from more of the world's greatest books on personal finance, entrepreneurship, and mindset in a fraction of the time. Also, make sure to comment I subscribe below so that we can thank you. This book definitely is a treat for your mind as it explains what Richard Layard contends is the real essence of happiness and also puts light on how worldly standards have manipulated the meaning of happiness. Richard emphasizes the fact that happiness is a personal feeling rather than a mutual feeling. He is a great critic of creating similar standards for everyone's happiness that leads to an insecurity among a lot of people. If you read this following book, you would almost certainly start a newer version of yourself as it opens the door to comfort for every single individual out there. It creates a belief among the readers that happiness is not meant to be found, but rather is meant to be created. If you really want to explore the doors of self-praise and happiness, here are some key points from Happiness by Richard Layard. Market Mindset of Happiness Layard argues that the primary causes for a sad community are a lack of humility and wealth. The most content citizens can be found in peaceful nations that adopt sensible policies for the benefit of their society. Third world nations in particular should adhere to these policies and understand how to operate in order to enhance their current status. But the theoretical side is one thing and the practical side is another. According to Layard, Western culture has set the standard of happiness as individualism. He believes these standards promote being selfish in the pursuit of happiness and a quest for obtaining more wealth to secure more happiness. However, this is not true as money does make a lot of problems easier, but it cannot get you happiness in the true essence. Real happiness is quite spiritual and it is the act of giving rather than getting. The more you help out people or animals, the more you'll feel praised and happy. Power of Intuition Layard shares this view of attaining a happy lifestyle by telling us that if politicians had integrity, they would fight for a society where everyone is treated equally and is satisfied. They would need to adopt a different perspective and have a much larger vision than simply growing personal markets in order to achieve this. It cannot be explained as a concept because it is a sensation that must be experienced. So the question is, how can this mystery be finally solved? Although it would be much simpler if we had a guide in real life, we must be pleased with the power of intuition because the author provides us with clear guidance to follow. Technology has its pros and cons. According to Layard, our lives have been profoundly impacted by technology. The amazing things that we humans made also significantly affect our happiness. However, as technology develops, it poses challenges to humans since it makes it more difficult for us to express ourselves. Communication is compromised. This not only creates a void among the masses regarding the lack of expression and human aura, but it also restricts the happiness that you attain by your preferred people around you. It ultimately creates a layer of depression and loneliness in the masses when they have to communicate with their loved ones only by means of technology as it is more feasible. Always have high morals and hope for yourself. Even love is not a permanent emotion, but a feeling or most likely a sensation. Human feelings change frequently, perhaps even every day, as each person has developed their own model of happiness. According to studies, folks with higher baseline satisfaction levels typically live far longer than those with lower ones. It means that people need to learn acceptance and pave their way to comfort in every situation rather than getting victimized or hurt. Be flexible. Economics has always been a difficult subject. It is more than just science based on numbers and forecasts. For example, economists believe that if people want to make more money, they should be less change averse and more adaptable, not giving a damn about their other responsibilities. People need to learn that happiness is not an absolute state or achievement. It is not some kind of reward that people will achieve by making money or getting power. It is rather a very personal achievement and sensation that every individual feels. It is more like a feeling that you achieve by performing deeds. So in order to remain happy, you all must remember one thing, Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. That's it for our book summary of Happiness by Richard Layard. We hope you found it both informative and entertaining. If you did, hit that like button as it helps the channel out. If you want to learn more, you should buy Happiness by Richard Layard. You can pick it up with the affiliate links below. We will return with more book summaries and money-making tips soon. 
In the meantime, please like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to click the bell icon to be notified when a new video is added. Also, let us know in the comments if there is a specific book you want us to summarize next. And until next time, we hope your personal success surpasses your dreams. Goodbye.